So what are different types of routing protocols? There are many different types of routing protocols. They are divided mainly into three categories. The first one is called as static routing, right? In which we do the manual configuration. Then there is another type of static routing, which is called as default static routing, where we have a single destination. Then the third type is dynamic routing. So dynamic routing has many type of protocols on which it runs. So today we will discuss about different types of routing protocols. Mainly the routing protocols are divided into two categories. One is called IGP, interior gateway protocol. The second one is called as EGP, exterior gateway protocol. These are the two broad categories of dynamic routing, right? IGP means the routing protocols which are used within one autonomous system, within one system like Vodafone, like MTN, like British Telecom. So within one autonomous system, within one network, the network which is under a single management domain, they run inside of that network. IGP is that one. And then EGP are the protocols which run between different networks. So let's say we have a network here which has autonomous system number 65001 these are private numbers this network might be vodafone right then we have another network which might be mtn network autonomous system number 652 then we might have another one which it is connected to further so these different networks basically are connected using the protocols which are called as EGP exterior gateway. So whenever we connect them together, then we need an exterior gateway protocol between them. Similarly here exterior gateway protocol. But when we are running protocols within them, when we need to connect different routers, different networking devices together within them, then we use IGP, interior gateway protocol within one system. So the IGP will end last on this router. It will not go beyond the autonomous system. It cannot go out of that. It can only help to do the routing within the autonomous system, within the AS, right? So these are called interior gateway routing protocols. Similarly, here we might have another IGP, which can be OSPF, IES, IES, EIGRP, or any other which will be running inside the network. Similarly, here we will have IGP as well. So under IGP, we have many other routing protocols, but under EGP, there is only one type of protocol which is famous today, and it is BGP. This is used for internet as well. So EGP straightforward, only one type of routing protocol. Then IGP, we have two main categories. First one is called as link state routing protocol. This is a category. The second category is called as distance vector routing protocols. The third one is a mixture of both of them. So we take good features from here plus good features from here and then equal to hybrid routing protocol. So many vendors are trying to create nicer protocol like more efficient protocols. And one of the example is EIGRP, which has been built by Cisco, although they released half of the RFC open standard so that everybody can use it. All other vendors can use, but still major portion belongs to Cisco. So this kind of efforts are falling under hybrid routing protocol. So it means mainly two types of routing protocols are existing. First one is link state and the second one is distance vector. So what are the di differences between link state and the distance vector routing protocol? Uh, there are many differences and we cannot go into too deep. I have prepared another video specifically on link state, specifically on distance vector. If you are interested, you can go into the description. You will find, found it. You will find it. Okay. Then link state, they are basically using a different type of algorithm, which is called as disk dextra algorithm. Distance vector routing protocol are using a protocol algorithm, which is called as dual. So this was prepared by dextra and it calculates based on the cost. So for example, if there are routers which have to make a routing decision to reach a far device, right? So let's say they this router number one has to reach to router number two. 
there are two paths right there might be different bandwidth available on this side there might be a different bandwidth on the other side as well route number a and route number b so might be ospf will take path number one based on its own mechanism might be if we choose rip or we choose igrp it will take another type of path so these are different algorithms which help to choose the path there are specific videos on each of these protocols you can go to them for detail okay so under link state routing protocol we have two major protocol one is ospf and the second one is isis ospf is the most famous routing protocol and it is open standard isis is also open standard but it is based it is still based on the old protocol on the old methodology of iso previously it was a layer 2 protocol then they added some layer 3 functionalities and they started using it recently for data center it is getting the popularity again it is not osi osi is a separate thing iso is the organization which built the layer 2 things and it is still based on that old methodologies that's why you will find a lot of nomenclature a lot of different old things in isis protocol okay so ospf is the winner in here but isis recently in nokia networks in data center networks it is getting popularity because of its tlvs this is a feature due to which you can add newer extensions into isis instead of developing a new routing protocol from scratch so dextra algorithm they decide their path based on the cost then we have distance vector routing protocol and under which we have three major routing protocol rip one was a classful routing protocol and it is not being used anymore igrp was also an old protocol we don't use these days in some companies in some networks there is still a little bit of rip because it these rip one and rip two they have actually the hop count limit of 16 and their metric they make their decision based on the hop count means wherever you find less routers you can choose that path it will choose that path so this is overall about the routing protocol now i have prepared a separate video in detail you can go through each of the routing protocol each of the category of the routing protocol even 